The included parts for installation are the auto flush unit, a guide cable and zip tie, the remote control operation guides, remote control button replacements, and an instruction manual. First, close the shutoff valve. Drain the water from the tank. Now remove the tank lid and place on a protective mat. Locate the triangle on top of the flush valve next to the overflow tube. Rotate the triangle counterclockwise until it points to the overflow tube. Remove the flush valve from the tank by pulling upwards. Raise the flapper into the valve body. With flapper raised, insert the cable metal tip with clear sleeve through the right side opening of the valve body and into the flapper hook. When viewed from above, check that the metal tip is inserted fully. Bring the cable upright, then test by moving cable in an up-down motion to ensure the connection to the flapper. Secure the clear sleeve of the cable into the corresponding notch on the valve body. Check that the clear sleeve part goes in all the way. With flapper raised, insert the cable metal tip with blue sleeve through the right side opening of the valve body and into the flapper hook. Verify the cable metal part is inserted all the way when viewed from above. Bring the cable upright, then test by moving the cable in an up-down motion to ensure the connection to the flapper. Secure the blue sleeve of the cable into the corresponding notch on the valve body. Make sure the blue sleeve goes in all the way. Identify your type of tank. Does it have a refill tube? Yes or no? For tanks not using a refill tube, insert the flush valve so the triangle points toward the overflow tube. When the flush valve sits on the base, turn clockwise until the flush buttons are parallel to the tank direction. If turned too much, manual flush functions may not work properly. Align the tab on the auto flush unit with the grooves on the overflow tube. Push the auto flush unit down onto overflow tube and check that the auto flush unit goes all the way down. For tanks that use a refill tube, check the installation position of the refill tube on the overflow tube. Disconnect the refill tube from overflow tube. Trim about 3 quarter inch from the tip of the refill tube and discard with a tip and clip. On the auto flush unit, locate the black inside overflow nipple and the white outside overflow nipple. If refill tube tip was located on the inside of the overflow tube, connect the refill tube to the black nipple on the auto flush unit. If refill tube tip was located on the outside of the overflow tube, connect the refill tube to the white nipple on the auto flush unit. For tanks using a refill tube, insert the flush valve so the triangle points toward the overflow tube. When the flush valve sits on the base, Turn clockwise until the flush buttons are parallel to tank direction. If turned too much, manual flush functions may not work properly. Align the tab on auto flush unit with grooves on the overflow tube. Push auto flush unit down onto overflow tube and check that the auto flush unit goes all the way down. Make sure the refill tube runs under the cables. Locate the power cable and remove and discard the twist tie wrap. Unfold the power cable and run behind the tank towards the left side of bowl. Place the tank lid on top of the tank and ensure the button rods align with the flush valve buttons. Tuck any exposed cables inside before placing the tank lid so as not to pinch the cables. Locate the opening on the back of the tank or lid and run the power cable through the opening so cable is not pinched. Using the guide cable, pass it through the bowl opening on the toilet. Secure the power cable with the guide cable as shown. Use the guide cable to guide the power cable through the bowl opening by pulling towards you. Discard the guide cable and rest the power cable on the left side of the toilet. To install the washlet, Use the installation instructions in the box. Locate the power port on the left side of the washlet. Open the connection port by removing the plastic cover and cable retainer pieces as shown. Connect the power cable to the connection port. Cover the power cable and connection port by replacing the plastic covers as shown. Measure about 6 inches away from the washlet on the water hose. 
Tie the power cable to the water hose at the 6 inch mark. After tightening, trim the excess tie with scissors and discard. Insert washlet water hose and power cable through the opening in the bowl as shown. Install washlet and secure it in place. Refer to the washlet installation manual. Remove the remote control from the wall mount. Identify the type of your remote control. Is the open-close icon present or not? Match with a newly supplied flush button cover. Remove the flush button assembly as shown. Install the new flush button cover as shown. Return the remote control to the wall mount. Open the shutoff valve and check for leaks. If everything was installed correctly, no leak should occur. Manually check the toilet full and light flush buttons and ensure they are working properly. Check the remote control buttons for full and light flush and ensure they are working properly. Tie the power cable to washlet power cable and the water hose. 